Hello, welcome back. Now, I've done a trip to Farm Foods. So, there is going to be three, maybe four products from Farm Foods coming up in the next few weeks. As well as other things, of course. I went in there, saw this, and I thought, ooh, that looks interesting. Curry mutton and rice, slow cooked with potatoes and carrots. Ooh, tender mutton pieces slowly stewed in a Jamaican curry sauce with traditional spices, carrots and potatoes served with rice. It says new on it. I don't know if it is or if it's one of these things that's been ages and they, they just can't be bothered to change the packaging. I don't know. I think, looking at the packet, it's the original patty company. Now, you, you must have seen the Jamaican patties, the lot little Cornish pasty things but also on the colouring it looks like something else doesn't it you know Mr Levi's stuff I don't know which came first the chicken or the egg I mean this or the Levi's stuff similar sort of thing so I'm going to microwave it I don't think it's going to be hot spice wise but we're looking to see what sort of flavour and what quality it is because price wise this comes in at Four pound, well, three ninety nine to be exact. Not the cheapest of uh, frozen meals, especially from farm foods. It might be worth it. So let's bang it in the microwave and let's see. Is it any good? Right, all done. I've got the fan going because it's roasting and sweaty in here today. So hopefully you can't hear it too much. Uh, it looks like that's basmati rice to me. I don't know. If that's long grain, it's cooked really light and fluffy. So we'll check that when we go back to the table. Curry-wise, uh, I'll give it a good stir. There's quite a bit of meat in there. But not too much on the old sauce. I thought that was bone in there. Then it's a plastic at the bottom. Uh, not too much on the old sauce front, though. Hmm. For £4? You have got a load of rice, so uh, I think it's 380 grams in total for the old dish. So, not bad, I suppose, if you don't want loads of curry and sauce, and you've got quite a bit of rice. If it's nice tasting rice, then that'll do for a dinner, won't it? Carrots in there, and it does smell. Let's get me snoz. It does smell quite nice, actually. Uh, different to normal curries. We can see a grizzly bit in there, look. You don't like grizzly bits. Let's go to the table, and let's see if it's any good, then. So again, the fan's on. Hopefully it's not too loud. Let's go in then. Rice for... Oh, what does it say about the rice? Is it basmati? No, it just says rice. It's a strange one because it, it looks like basmati. But it doesn't smell like it. A lot of ingredients in there. A lot of spices. You've got your usual additives and that. But right, let's go in first. Oh no, the donkey's here. The new donkey. He can smell food. Let's try the rice first. That's strange. I'm sure that's basmati, you know. Sure it is. It's weird. It, it, it's got basmati texture, but it tastes like long grain. I don't know. And also, I've not added any salt to this, and it tastes like I have. There's it's, it's a bit of seasoning coming through in the rice on its own. Hmm. Thumbs up straight away for the rice. That is probably the best rice that I've tasted in a pre-packed meal. Really nice. I think it's because it's been seasoned. Right. Let's try the sauce. Well, we'll try the sauce and the mutton together because it's not much sauce, so it's going to be hard to get it. The mutton is tender. It's not really chewy. It's not overcooked, and it's quite nice. I know there's one bit with a grisly bit on that I've seen, but that's the nature of the beast with mutton, unfortunately. We have got some from a, a local Asian supermarket. It's a big place, and they do mutton now and again and it's just like steak there's no fat or anything on it really good uh, it must be a different cut but mm, i'm tasting quite a bit of black pepper in that and it is a different taste to indian curries it's um i don't know if there's a bit of coconut in there as well let's have a look no there's not um it tasted like there was a bit of coconut going on there it does say curry powder, but there's a load of other stuff as well. I don't know if they put the individual spices that are in the curry powder, or they've added those as well as the curry powder. Uh, spring onion, carrot, potato. But there's, there's nothing down for coconut. It, it tasted almost like coconut flavour coming through, a sweetness to it. 
and I don't know what's giving that sweetness off, but it's uh, it's quite nice. It does say black pepper. I am tasting the black pepper. And also, when I first tried it, I thought, hmm, there's a bit of spice to that. Scotch bonnets are in it as well. So it's not, don't pan it if you, unless you're a korma and nothing else in a curry, then it's going to be fine to eat. Well, tikka masalas, it, you'd probably say, well, that's a bit of spice to it, that's it. Anything above that, you're going to be fine. It's a nice taste with that scotch bonnet. I do like the taste of them. I think those and habaneros are my favourite tasting chilies, so it is a nice taste with those. And it's, you know, it's, I wouldn't say it's even a medium strength wise, but there is a bit of spice from the scotch bonnets. Now, let's mix a bit of the rice in with it and see. What the whole shebang's like. Right then, let's get into that. Rating first. I think you probably guessed that. It's a thumbs up. Any buts to that thumbs up? Only one. Uh, I wish there'd have been a bit more sauce in there to, to mingle it all together because there's a lot of rice in there and I've only put probably a fifth of the rice in with the curry and it's already soaked it up and then you've got a load of other rice so probably a bit more of sauce in there would have been better other than that no it's fine I didn't see any bits of spuds in there but the carrots are there the meat is okay there's a couple of chewy bits but you know rice very nice um, and that rhymes the whole thing is nice and I would get it again I think for a one-off dinner, bit banging. And probably for a main meal, if you're going to have something with it, uh, I don't know, nan breads or something like that, it's probably enough for a main meal as well. The price is a bit pricey for farm foods at uh, £4, but it is nice. And I, I think it's probably worth it because you get a load and load and load and load of rice. Thumbs up. No buts, that's all I can say about it. Taste-wise, um, it did taste a bit sweet, but I don't know why. Because there's nothing in there to sweeten it. But when I say sweet, don't think, it's going to be sickly sweet. It's not overly sweet, because I would have said I don't like it. You know, I don't eat sweet stuff. There's just something there that's just sort of rounding the flavour off nicely. And it does. it's not something that detracts from the flavour, it adds to it. It's just a nice flavour to it. It is that curry type flavour, but you know there's something else going on in there as well. It doesn't just taste like curry powder. And the Scotch bonnets just add a tiny bit of heat to it. They've not put too many in, which to me would probably would have been a but, because you know what we're like for chilies, and I love Scotch bonnets. And probably a few more of them, but you know they're appealing to the masses, so I can't really fault it for that. And I'd say if you fancy forking out four pound and trying it i don't think you'll be disappointed because this is nice it's a thumbs up do i recommend it of course i do will i get it again as i've said uh yes if i've got farm foods again i'll get it and it's not too far from us so you may find it in other supermarkets i don't know I, I, i'd imagine you're going to be looking at farm foods iceland uh b m home bargains probably i, I don't know or maybe you, you, i mean supermarkets do the original patty patties pasties you know um so they they may may do them there you never know but it's worth getting thumbs up it's nice if you like this video don't forget to smash the thumbs up subscribe if you're not it's free don't forget once you're subscribed even if you're already subscribed double check the notification bell click on the little bell and it will drop down and it will tell you what notifications you've selected it's either none some or all if you don't select all, you will miss some of the notifications. And if you select none, you won't get any. And then you might miss something important, like a live stream or a giveaway. You never know. So, click the notifications. Drop your comments in below. Have you tried this from Farm Foods or have you tried it from anywhere else? It does say no, but I don't know how new. I've already said I recommend it. Now I've got to go and finish this quick. And them two doggies in there, their little puppies are quiet. And that sends off alarm bells ringing. Hmm. We'll catch you on another one. Don't forget to subscribe to Mouse and Brillo's YouTube channel. Oh yes, the link will be in the video 
below the one you're watching. We'll see you on another one.